how's it going, monkey faces? So, it's been a little while since I've posted a playthrough. I've just been doing little clips. But today, I'm doing Pokemon Black version Nuzlocke. I'm sure you know that because you clicked it already. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Because I'm doing this shit. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, here are my rules. I am going to start with a two Pokemon clause where if any of my Pokemon in my first two faint, it doesn't count until I get the third one as a death. I'm only doing this because I've never done a Nuzlocke before and I've never played this game before. After that, it's the basic rules, you know, every Pokemon, I can only catch the first Pokemon I come across in each path or wh whatever you want to call it, area. I have to nickname them all, and after the first two Pokemon claws is over with, if they faint, they die. They're gone. That's all. Now, I tried to start this before. And I had some problems with my uh, capture, but now I've got it figured out. It's recording everything just fine, as far as I know. And so you'll see a previous save file, but I assure you, the only, I've played as far as the first gym. That is it. After that, I decided I wanted to do a Nuzlocke of the game because I didn't know what to do, where to go, any of those things. So let's go ahead and get started. I didn't press start, but it worked anyway! Yeah! We're gonna have to go to new game. There's already a save game! What? Yeah, delete it. Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Even though that's what everyone calls Professor Oak. But you know, let's just keep with the. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm gonna throw this at you. Ha! Tricked you. It's some weird mouse fucker. What the fuck is that thing? That's right. The world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together and forcing them to fight our battles because we're weak as a ra er, er, a race? No, not a race. A species. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, we help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. Except for in this run, if your Pokemon faint, they're fucking dead and you're a failure as a Pokemon trainer. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? I am a girl. Which means I talk like this. But I don't because the main character typically doesn't talk. Yes, I am a girl. I'd like to know your name. Let's just go with the with the good old monkey. It works for every other thing. Why not Pokemon? I know. I'm not a genius. I'm not doing anything. Your name is Monkey? Oh, I'm sorry. Your name is Monkey! Yes. So your name's Monkey! What a wonderful name. Well then. I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends, because you don't know them already. This young man is Sharon, which is typically a woman's name, but he's a man. He could be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca, and she's a bitch. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard at being a bitch. I think you three have potential. So I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Monkey! The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you 
on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and force Pokemon to fight in the Slave War! And grow as a person, that's what I meant. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Autumn! Who the fuck is Autumn? This is peaceful. Oh, there goes the lady walking into her house. And leaving immediately. Wait, is this my house? Ha! I just figured that out. <laughs> Monkey! I heard from Professor Juniper, we can have a Pokemon? Da da da, da da da. I'm glad that there's these voice boxes here to let you know that I just paused. What's keeping Bianca, that bitch? Why did the stairs make that noise? Am I a little late again? Sorry! That's like, sorry not sorry. I don't give a fuck. I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time. But seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from the professor- from Professor Juniper. I know, sorry, monkey! Sorry, Sharon. So, where are our Pokemon? They were delivered to Monkey's house, so Monkey gets to pick first. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside this box. You know what I'm gonna pick? I already know. I brought three Pokemon. One for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon! <gasps> What's it gonna be? Is it going to be... Yes! It's going to be Tepig! Yes, this is the Pokemon I want. Do I get to name it? Wait, so I don't get to name it? Well, that violates the rules of the Nuzlocke! What are you doing, game? Yes, they're weak, Pokemon. We should be able to fight them in the house. They're not going to destroy everything. We're very, very nice children. Monkey versus a bitch! You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Bianca, who can't even find her goddamn Pokeball. A Snivy. Maybe a leaf snake thing. I'm gonna kill it with fire. I don't have any fire, so just attack. <gasps> Eek! Ouch! I won't let you get away with that. We're in a Pokemon battle. Like, are you really gonna complain after each move? Shut up! Oh, this fucker is so dead. Ooh, Leer! Don't lower my defense, because I'm going to kill you! Oh, what stupid moves. You're a horrible trainer, bitch. We should let me name my Tepig. Maybe it will after I fight here. Bitch, you fucked up my room! You're gonna be an awesome train, awesome, awesome trainer today, someday, someday, not just today, someday. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you look around? Fuck this place up. We have footprints on the walls. I highly doubt they were doing a Matrix fight. Uh, okay. Okay, you had to have had a potion. That's the noise that was. It was potion noise. I know it. You know it. Shut your dick hole, Bianca. Wait, these people are like ten, right? She's just a bitch. Never mind the dick hole thing. Let's let's not talk about that. With all you know, 
I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right, because you're a helpless, sorry sack of a person. Besides, it's not fair if two of you are the only ones who have fun battling. Let's go! An Oshawott? Is that what he said? Charon? Is it Charon or Sharon? Hopefully someone in the comments can tell me. Sharon. Sharon. Ah, uh. oh, you destroyed that Oshawott. It burped in my face. Let's help me out a little here. Very interesting music. It's not like the regular, like, it will... Okay, so I've only played the first three generations. Damn! Critical hit! Right off the bat! One hit kill! Suck it, Sharon! Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. No, that was a disaster. You had no chance. I made a strange blunder in my first battle. But this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. And my Pokemon is dead. <laughs> so, I guess I don't get to name my Tepic. So, we'll just add that because for some reason it won't let me nickname it. Maybe there's a way for me to nickname it that I'm not aware of. Yeah, let's go meet Professor Juniper. She's stupid. Oh, wait! I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. Oh, shit. You better go up there and clean your fucking room. <laughs> Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Considering I'm right above the stairs, I pretty much figured that out. Although, where's your bedroom, Mom? Mmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Boom, 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 boom. I love the healing. Ooh, a cross transceiver. Cross. Oh, X transceiver. Okay. Put the X transceiver in your key items case. You're gonna thank the professor too, right? Better get going. So let's see if I've like. Can I name this? Doing a summary. Oh, that didn't help. Alright, go back. I guess I can't name my Tepig. It's okay. Its name is going to be Tepig. T-E-H-P-I-G. Maybe there's like a name. What the fuck are those things? It's like a flying sheep's eyeball with bat wings. Okay. So... I'm sorry, but could you go to Bianca's house? I'll bet she's spacing out like she usually does. She's totally flighty. Yeah, they, they said that already. You're just repeating yourself. Where is Sharon's house? Are you Sharon? You're not Sharon. Get out of here. You're not helpful. I'm not Sharon. I'm looking for Bianca, that bitch. Is this her house? Yes, I found it. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I can totally go on an adventure. <gasps> Moggy! <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Whoa, she just was like, nah. I don't care what my parents say. What nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? Well, it's kind of the theme of the game, is where you let your ten-year-old 
go and do some shit. And by shit, I mean leave your home and endanger their lives by battling animals. Ooh, nice room. You don't have any video games. Your room sucks. Get out of here. I'm done. Bye. Where is this lab now? Is it here? Is this it? This, this doesn't look like it. This looks like the same play, same people. Sharon's dead. Hey, monkey. Oh, Sharon's in front of the thing. The X button is vitally important. Never forget it. Maybe she'll let me name it. Oh, nope. I will not be able to name my Tepig for my Nuzlocke. Until maybe later in the game. Who knows? Let's do this. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Yeah, get in there. Let me follow you weirdly. Zoom in. Ooh, I like this song. Hi there. I've been waiting for you young people. <laughs> Why do I always make the professors in these games pedophiles? <laughs> Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not the time to take things lightly. Today is the day to remember always, so it's... best to behave with some formality. That being said, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though as your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. They shouldn't trust me. Because I'm putting them through the gauntlet. Yes! A nickname! Yes! Hey, watch. I told everyone. It's Te... Pig. I know, it's not very inventive, but the word te used to be so vital to the internet, and now it's like a dead thing that no one does. So I'm bringing it back for Tepig. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname Tepig? Yes, because that's it's the same exact name. Tepig it is then. Oh, is its name. That is such a great name. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon? It's for the Pokedex, right? Jesus Christ, Sharon, you're a little dick. I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. How about shut your mouth and let me tell you all the important shit, Sharon? God! You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Un Un Unova? I hope that's right. Pokemon fans, don't jump on my back here. I don't know if that's Unova or Unova. Unova? No, it's gotta be Unova. Unova region. This is my request. Monkey! Sharon! Bianca! <laughs> Sorry? You go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex. Will you not? Yes? Okay! I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I'm even more of a douchebag. I hate Sharon, because he's like a know-it-all. And I hate Bianca, because she's a bitch. <laughs> because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly what I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Is that what the Pokedex looks like in this game? Holy shit, that looks weird. I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1. Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want. 
Well, we complete the Pokedex. Nope, no bonus shit over here. Time to get out of here. Whee! Out the door. Alright, so where's Route 1? Okay. Tell me to wait up. You're right fucking behind me. Oh, there you are. And what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! It's just like every other game! Well, actually, I can't. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Give me the running shoes. That's what I want. Do those even exist in this game? I have no idea. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Th thank you so much. As for your room monkey, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying it up. Okay, monkey! If I come back in 39 hours of playing this game and that room is still messy, I'm going to be very angry. Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute. But they have enough power to destroy a bedroom! It doesn't actually sound very strong. I mean, like a three-year-old can do it, so... It's not really that strong. With Pokemon like that, it's a, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go, monkey! Hurry and come to... Okay! Don't really have a choice here. So here we... Nope. Why, why, why are you surprised to see me? Oh, jeez. Okay, all right, fine. One, two, we did it! That is so fucking weird. It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Ooh, Professor Junima. I'm sorry we kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. I am not going to acknowledge that you just apologized to me at all. The Pokedex pages. The Pokedex pages automatically update update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Sorry for the silence there, I yawned. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Oh, it's a Pat Rat! Go Min Minchi Min Minchino? Yeah, pound that pat rat! Pound it to the ground! Damn, that was a strong move. Oh, level 7 against the level 2. <gasps> you used a Leer? No way! Use a Pokeball after lowering your it's HP. Pokeballs? Pokeball? You! Pat Rat was caught. She's not gonna give me that, is she? Professor's Juniper. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see that? Just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. The journey has begun! I cannot wait to catch my first Pokemon. Who knows what it'll be. But... Oh, she forgot to say. The Pokemon jump out at you in tall grass. I'm heading to Akumula Town. Accumula? Like accumulate? Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the 
next town so I can shop for the Pokeballs. <gasps> Bianca, wait a minute. Hey, listen, Monkey, Sharon, I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen for a sec, seriously? God, what a bitch. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh? Actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up the Pokedex, so I'm sure it will please the Professor. God, you're such a know-it-all. Go away! Me and Snivy will do our best for sure. And that is going to be it for this episode. Please come back for the next one. You've been watching me, Monkey, on the Monkey Gamer. Play Pokemon Black Version Nuzlocke. Come back again later. Thank you.